Hello. Today we're going to be looking at the fuel system on a Nuffield tractor. Quite often people buy a tractor and they start doing some work with it and all of a sudden it grinds to a halt and they've got no fuel. And the tank's full but they can't quite work out what's going on. And often the first port of call is this glass bowl here. Let's have a look at this. You take the glass bowl off and still there's no fuel coming through. So next, let's look at the tank. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this fuel pipe off so that we can get at this. And in the bottom of the tank here is a fitting with a filter on it. Now, before you remove this filter, remember you've got a tank full of fuel. So you'll probably need to get a siphon and a few five gallon drums and siphon all the fuel out of your tank. Otherwise, you're gonna have quite a mess when you take this out. There it is, and there's what's in the bottom of the tank, which is, I'm not quite sure what it is, looks like an inch standpipe to me, I've not seen anything like it before. I've got some together some other fittings out of the bottom of the tank. This is what I was expecting to find, a three inch pencil filter. And what commonly happens is the filter's completely clogged with crud. I mean, when the tractors were built 50 years ago, a filter in the bottom of a brand new clean film ta fuel, fuel tank seems a good idea. But 50 years on with a bit of rust sloshing around in there, it's going to get blocked and blocked and blocked. And my approach to this is to get the saw and cut that off where the threads stop. Just cut it off right there at the top of the threads and put it back in. Give the tank a wash out with a pressure washer. Get what crud out you can. But with that cut off, you let all the crud come through to the glass bowl. Now we'll look at the glass bowl. So let's uh, let's take this off the tractor to make it easy to have a look at. Right, in the bottom of the glass bowl, or in the top of the glass bowl, sorry, we have a rubber seal. On top of that is a brass gauze. And if I just flick this out, the fuel comes in through these holes in the centre, and then any dirt is supposed to drop to the bottom of the bowl. And before it leaves the bowl and goes up to the lift pump, it's supposed to pass through that brass gauze, which as you can see, is absolutely solid. It looks as though somebody's painted it with black paint. Now before you could use that, if you'd want to clean with a toothbrush or perhaps a brass wire brush, something like that to give it a good clean up. I don't know whether new ones are available, but that definitely needs cleaning. But that is quite often the problem. People get fuel to the bowl and then can't get it any further because they don't realize that is in the top of the glass bowl. Now let's look at the lift pump. Over here on the lift pump, there's another brass gauze under there. Now let's have a look in here. Oh boy, look at the state of that. Get a close up of that, Mary. Let people see all the rust on top of it. That is absolutely disgusting, but typical of what I find when you take a tractor to bits. Right, so we get a screwdriver. Oh, it's corroded in. That's supposed to lift out. This uh, this tractor actually is a, a scrap tractor that come into me, and uh, I'm using it for a few bits for myself. That does not want to come out. Right, I'm going to stick the screwdriver through it to get it out to show you. That's the filter that's supposed to be in the top of the lift pump. 
and that was absolutely corroded in. It's supposed to be a nice clean bit of brass gauze with a brass frame around it. If we look in the bottom of the lift pump here, we can see that it's full of crud and filth. Um, that whole system wants the airline to it to clean it out and um, then you can start to get the tractor going. But this is absolutely typical of what I find on old tractors. You start to do a bit of work, all the filth comes through and uh, the only way to sort it out is start at the beginning, siphon the tank out, remove the fitting from the bottom of the tank. I cut the filter off because if you leave the filter on it's only going to block up again and again and again. Cut the filter off, let the filth come through to the brass bowl, uh, the glass bowl, catch it in the glass bowl because on this filter here you've got this tap you can just switch the fuel on and off like that so if it chokes up you can have 15 gallon of diesel in the tank switch the tap off take the glass bowl out take the brass cores out at the top clean it all put it back together and let the fuel through and you should with a full tank be able to get fuel running out of the top of the lift pump before you put the top back on and then you can start the process of priming it up and pumping the fuel up to the filter on the other side and uh, we'll deal with the filter on the other side in another video shortly. We've come to a different tractor now to look at the other side of the engine with the fuel filter and the injector pump and uh, this tractor actually runs so I can show you what goes on. First of all on the top of the fuel filter there'll be a bolt usually not doing anything that's the bleed screw and if you slacken that and prime the pump on the, the other side you get clean air fuel air free fuel coming out of there you're then ready to move on to the injector pump on the injector pump again slacken the bleed screw and prime the pump And once you've got clean air free fuel coming out of the injector pump you're ready to start and at this stage it's worth giving the engine a turn on the key and seeing if it starts if it doesn't slacken a couple of the injector lines up here that one and that one you only need to do a couple not all of them and crank the engine until you see fuel dribbling out of there then tighten it up again And then your tractor should be ready to start. Happy tractoring everybody!